Now the next question is moving towards each other from the opposite direction. Okay, starting at the at the same time. Okay, so moving towards each other. Okay, starting at the same time. Huh? So what happened is that they will meet each other. Okay, they will meet, and then the time when they meet is the distance between their starting time, starting point divided by the sum of their speeds. Okay, let's take a look at the question here. So I'll give you about one minute. Can you read this question on your own quietly? Okay, so a car left town A. Okay, let's draw the timeline. Huh? Let's take a look at the timeline. Huh? So a car left town A at 8 a.m. Right, so a car here left in this direction. Huh? This direction. So you can see that it travels in the opposite direction. Okay, and the average speed is 60 kilometers an hour. Okay, at the same time, a lorry, the okay, same time meaning at the same time of 8 a.m. The lorry, lorry left town B for town A. That means the lorry is traveling in the opposite direction. Okay. So at 11.30 a.m., the car and the lorry were 70 kilometers apart after passing each other earlier. Okay, now take note here. After passing each other. So that means uh, the lorry would have traveled up to this point. Okay. And then the car would have Travel and in the at this point because why they say that they have passed each other so at this point is 85 kilometers and what time is at this point when they were 85 kilometers away it is at 11 30 a.m okay at 11 30 a.m so the question asks if the car arrived at town b at 1 p.m okay the car so the car here you can see arrive Okay, from here, 11.30 a.m. Now, the car reached town B at 1 p.m. At what time would the lorry arrive in town A? Okay, at what time would the lorry arrive in town A? So, we want to know what time uh, that the lorry reached town A. Okay. Now, first of all, let's calculate the look at the information given to you and calculate whatever information is missing. Okay, since we know the speed for... Car A is for the car is 60 kilometers an hour, <coughs> and the car takes five hours, right, to travel. Okay, to travel. Okay, you get one hour uh, 300 kilometers. Okay. For distance C, all right. For distance C will be. 60 kilometers an hour, okay, multiply by uh, 1.5, you get 90 kilometers. Okay, so the distance traveled, okay, the distance traveled is by the lorry, all right, at 11.30 a.m., okay, it will be 85 kilometers, okay, plus 90 kilometers, we get 175 kilometers. Okay, and the speed, okay, the speed by the lorry will be distance divided by time, you get 175 kilometers, divided by 3.5 hours, you get 50 kilometers per hour. Okay, so the time taken by the lorry will be distance divided by speed, 300 kilometers, okay, divided by 50, okay, you get 6 hours. Okay, so see the question asked at what time did the lorry arrive at town A? Okay, so at town A, the lorry arrived, uh, left at 8 a.m. So 6 hours later will be 8 a.m. plus 6 hours, you get 2 p.m. Okay, 